Hey, Bulldog fans, welcome back to part three of this special from Bryant Sports Network. Tristan Hobbs, head football coach Chris Merritt. We've talked about where Coach Merritt's come from. Uh, we've talked about his philosophies, and now uh, we'll talk to Coach about uh, what's to come. Uh, it's going to feel like a blur, Coach, I'm sure. Uh, right now, early January, you get, get your student athletes back end of January, then it's an early signing period, uh, and then the workouts begin, and then spring ball starts uh, right around mid March, and you're spring football game it's a lot to take in and you're still working out putting the staff together uh you got a lot going on uh what's first on your docket well i i, I kind of smile at the question because it was asked to me twice in, in the interview process describe your first 60 days with it and i <laughs> I, I had no idea uh but listen it's it's been a whirlwind. Uh, my first priority uh, while the kids were gone during the dead period was to get a staff going, and we've done a great job. We've got to tie up the last couple of ones, but I'm really excited with the guys that we're bringing in here staff-wise. Uh, you know, we, we signed 15 kids about two weeks ago, uh, so we've got about five or six spots left in this class to come up. Uh, and, and we don't want to miss. You know, we want to get those kids. We we want to beat people on some kids, and that's going to be our goal. We want to go in there and and compete uh, for our needs. Uh, here in the football program, and I've got uh, the coaches are already working down that path. How much? How how much have you enjoyed jumping right into the recruiting part of it? I, a lot. I'm on the other side of the desk now. For 18 years, I've sat on the receiving end, and it's been a, a task for me to get my kids placed. And we've put hundreds across the country, but now I'm on this side, and. And it, it, I guess you know it works. It, it does. It does. Uh, you know, one of the benefits about where I've come from is I've seen the best recruiters in the country, and I've seen the bad. And uh, I've been able to kind of steal what the good guys did. And, and uh, with, with the network of guys that I know across the country, especially the, the 1A guys, uh, you know, I've really been able to, to lean on them a little bit on their evaluations of some kids that, that we, you know, some people may, may be missing on that we, we have a shot at getting. Uh, now, once that part of it is done, now all of a sudden you have your kids back and you really get a chance to see uh, what this football team kind of has in store. I mean, these guys have always been a hard-working bunch. If you look back at the 20 years of Bryant football, these guys have been grinders. You've sent kids here. You know kind of mm -hmm. what the culture has been here and how they've worked. Uh, and you could see that firsthand. How excited are you for that moment? I am. You know, my first priority, though, uh, is, is to connect with the senior class. You know, I'm going to meet with them separately first. I'm their third head coach, and I want them to know uh, walking in what my expectations are of, of myself with them as well as them. And, and I want to win those guys over because I want them to lead this football team. And, and then we'll meet as a team, and then we'll start to get our calendar set uh, and start our get with Coach Buck and get in that, in that uh, weight room and, and get at it and start uh, finding out what we have and what we got to get better at. Pretty nice weight room, huh? That yeah, uh, reminds me of some place, but, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's, <laughs> it's a really nice place. Uh, you start spring ball. So much to take in. What, is, what, what can you maybe now think of are some goals that you have for this team for this group in spring ball, that both for you and the team. Sure. Well, listen, you know, what, what these kids need to understand is that this is, it's open competition now. There are no starters. You know, what, what they did in the past was great, but it's somebody who started before doesn't, isn't guaranteed that position right now or the playing time. It's going to open up. I want competition. I want us to walk in every single day, no matter what we do. It's in the classroom, in the weight room, and most importantly on the field in the spring is compete. You know, if you weren't happy with your role before, well, hell, here's a chance. You know, here's a chance to compete and come out and show what you can do. And and uh, if it shuffles the, the depth chart board, then that's what it does. But we are going to compete, and we're going to step on the field every Saturday this fall coming up with the knowledge and with the belief that we're going to compete with everybody. August 31st, you get to step on the field as a collegiate head coach for the first time. Have you thought about that in the days since you've – Taking the job? Yeah, listen, I, I'm, I'm not naive. I know the situation is there's been a lot of head scratching. You know, gee, they hired a high school guy. You know, and I get that. It's, it's, it, you know, it, it's a concern. But, you know, I'm going to be a high school guy for about eight months because when I do step on that field in August, I'll no longer be a high school guy. And I, I think I, I'm confident that the people will like the product that we put out there, and I'm excited for it. And finally, Coach, you're a Bryant Bulldog. How good does that feel for you to kind of be a part of this and, and be here and get going? Listen, I've always been a fan of this university. It's why I've, I've encouraged my kids to come here in the past. I've, I've sent uh, six kids here in the last uh, eight, nine years, and, and I've always encouraged them because of what I've known about Bryant University. One of the things that drew me to the job uh, were the, the success of the school itself, the facilities, 
I, I think there's no reason why that this school doesn't dominate the NEC, and that's going to be our goal. Our, our goal is going to be, and I want every senior to know, that my, my goal for them personally is to walk across the stage every year, those seniors, and have a diploma in one hand and a championship ring on the other. That, that, that's my goal. Head coach Chris Merritt, that completes our three-part series uh, with the new uh, head coach of the Bryant football team. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to bryantbulldogs.com for a continued coverage of the Bulldog football team throughout the spring as we get set to embark on the 21st season of Bryant football in 2019.